What's up, everyone? Um, so we've got the whip light. We're going to do a second part of that video uh, from last week. So we made the, the light. Um, so what I did, this light comes in a couple pieces, and I just took a washer and basically uns unscrewed these last two parts, put a washer in there, and then screwed it back together and drilled a couple holes in, in the bottom right here for the wires to go through. And I just soldered some, some uh, longer wires to this so I can kind of show you what it, um, how to do it. But uh, I'll show you the holes in the bed here in a second. But the, there's obviously holes in the bed. And what you can do is you can feed the wires and this bottom piece right here through the hole in the bed. And then you can use a couple washers here just to keep everything tight. And, tight. and then this last piece right here, you can use... Um, the, and, and this all comes as part of the antenna because the actual CB, the, the cable, will screw into the bottom of this. Um, but obviously I didn't use that for that. So what we could do is, so just pretend that the bed is in between these two. You can screw these together and sandwich the bed and in between these two. And that basically will kind of keep everything in place. Um, for the whip lights so once once you tighten this down and everything it can't go anywhere i mean i've had mine for a year and a half on there and they haven't gone anywhere um and so before before everyone starts hating i know there's fifty thousand different ways to for these whip lights to be made and to be put on and everything so i realize this is the inexpensive way but that's the reason why i'm making this video is because it shows you you know you can do make this and wire everything together and uh, obviously i didn't include a switch price in there but um, the light, the, uh, the antenna, the shrink tube, all that stuff was less than 30 bucks. So sandwich it in between the bed and the other, the other uh, washer here, I actually drilled a couple holes in this as well to feed these wires through. That way the wires don't get sandwiched or, or, um, or broken or anything inside that hole um, that's in the bed. And once, once everything is together and in there, I mean I can't show you this, but I'll show you once everything is mounted in there. And I'll show you this hole in the bed real quick. So there's a couple of them there. Um, this one or this one, whichever one you want. But they'll go in there. Again, once you once you sandwich the uh, the bed in between these washers, it can't go anywhere. It's not going to move or do anything. And then we've already ran the wire for this one all the way up to the front and then to the uh, to the side right there. Um, hopefully you can see that. I'll walk all the way around actually. So, whip light, switch. So I'll get it, uh, I'll get it mounted in there real quick and the wires soldered together. And All right, we got our light mounted on there. And as you can see, it's, I got, I got a sandwich in between the, uh, in between the bed and got it all wired in and everything. And I'll show you what it looks like. So I still have to make the, uh, the second one. I'll probably do that tonight and get it mounted over to the uh, to the other side. But as you can see, I mean, it's thirty dollar light. It works perfect. It uh, it's protected, you know, somewhat by the by the roll cage and and the uh, roof. It's not a four foot one, so it obviously doesn't uh, stick out way above the roof and everything. So. It should, uh, should hopefully work great. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you, uh, if you have, obviously, if you have a better way to do this, you know, post a video up, show me. Um, and if you guys uh, need help as far as wiring or, or uh, have any questions about anything else, just, just shoot me a comment, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching.